Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial videos about step three in our content creator tool set. Um, step three is content writing. Um, and in this step is we laid out everything in a way that would help you to focus purely on your writing and um, crafting the content that will get you that ranking that you want. All right. Um, so first of all, let's talk about basic navigation. First, uh, you will see that in the uh, top right corner or top the, the far right uh, corner of the screen, it will be where the scoring um, area are. So this is where all the information and research and result based information that you need to refer to will always appear here. And the most important is your scoring of the content that you write. We'll help measure the amount of word that you will write uh, that you write on your article. Second is the amount of your headings, um, paragraphs, image, all of this number are actually what you have set in the, in the general uh, information step one. Um, below that is show analysis button and show analysis apparent, uh, it's, it's essentially analyze panel where we will actually scan through the content that you have and suggest you with the problems that you haven't done in terms of optimizing your SEO um, titled SEO headings or, or just SEO writing in general um, structure and some of the improvements you should have uh, in your content. You should have more than three internal links or external links in one post. So um, all of this thing is where we will track the content that you write and making sure that you cover all of this. And if not, we'll show uh, some of this analysis for you to see. Uh, below that is the second section. And second, this section is all about the research data that you've done in the previous two steps. First is the outline. Click on the outlines. Uh, on the left side, the left handle will, panel will open up and it's all the outlines you build in step one. So this is where you show what you have made in step one and what you could do with this uh, in relative to your content you have. Um, a lot of time, what I like to do is just, just click copy it to editor so I could see it more clearly here as the rule of thumbs. And then um, for when you utilize our AI assistant, you can just simply turn on the AI assistant and put the, uh, the cursor where you want the content to be turning into. And we will go more in, in depth of the videos of how you can utilize our AI assistant um, in another video. So this one will focus purely on the uh, tutorial of this tool itself. All right. Okay, so the second part is keyword. Um, so these are all the keywords that you choose in step two is keyword to include, right? Um, these are, will include all the NLP terms that you may you want to include in your content to help your help Google Boss uh, understand the context and meaning of your content better. Uh, also, all the keywords that you have on the left side. This is the number of keyword um, number of times the keyword should be mentioned in your content. You can turn on the highlight keyword button here and see your keyword highlight in action as you write. So a lot of times you want to see where you place your keyword and whether it was placed at all. Um, it will be here. So for keyword that turn on, this number will actually change uh, life. Like, uh, let's see, I can do here. Nutrition plan, you have two over 11. So let's say if I do page, all right? It's the word page here, it will turn one. Uh, if you click on any of the keyword, you will be able to access the example of the keyword itself and how it was used in other two, uh, in other competitors. Um, good meal plans, you'll see it here. And if you'd like to see, you can just simply click and it will load up to that page itself for you to see the uh, actual example of that. Okay, so that's the keyword panel. Um, the third one is competitors. Click on competitor to access all the top 20 competitors. Uh, over here, we show you some of the basic information, for example, like the rank. Uh, so we, we order this by the ranking uh, sorting. So top one, uh, amount of word, and the sentiment if you turn on Google NLP integration. Um, if you click on this, you will be able to access their summarized views and also the FAQ panel where if you if this one, the, the data will show here, if you already turn on the FAQ panel in step one. I remember in the step one, you also have the FAQ panel, FAQ generation. Uh, click on that button and you will have this. And this is where our AI will go through the content of the um, competitors and um, turn that out in a FAQ format 
from here is a really great way for you to look through all the question and the answer that your competitors were were, were building onto. Um, click on next to just look at other competitors. For example, if website that we have not have the uh, FAQ format, just click generate FAQ format and our AI will actually show you the questions in which you can derive from the content of the article. The fourth uh, panel is question. This is where you will see um, all the list of the questions like people also asked. Um, so the list of the questions that actual users are searching for and the topic in on Reddit. So you can just scan through here. And this is where you, uh, we, we, we build this not to be another place for you to do research. This is more or less of like, as you were writing and you would like to refer to some information that you may have known in the past and you would like to seek for that for your writing, then this is the place. So that's why we don't, we, we did not intend to design this to be a very complex place to access all kind of information. More or less is a place where you see all the compiling research neatly organized and you can utilize that into your writing because it's all about writing this step, right? You already done the hard work of research in outline to use as well as keyword to include. Now it's all about writing. Below that is the third section. This is the session where you use last. When you finish your content and you would like to do plagiarism checker, just click on our quick view report. For example, once you activate the plagiarism, just click on quick view report. We'll actually return to you this um, so that you can access the current content. If you click, if you click on detail report, we'll bring you into the main plagiarism checker tool and you can find from there. The mechanism behind our plagiarism checker is to utilize Google database, Google web database. So um, a lot of times you may see content that are available in uh, documents that are not indexed. For example, uh, PDF documents um, that are actually put up on website, but it's not indexed as an URL. Um, you'll see the content still there because we only, this is an SEO optimized tool. We only focus on whether or not your content is copied from a index source because that's what will mostly likely affect your ranking ability, right? So that's our plagiarism checker. Um, on the bottom panel, you will see there's two area. The first is AI assistant. This is where you will be able to access your AI assistant panel. Turn on and it will be here. We'll go in details in other uh, videos where I go more in depth of how you can utilize this AI assistant. Um, these are the button where we, our tool automatically saved uh, the content that you write every, let's, I think, 10 seconds. Um, so once it's saved, it's auto saved. So you don't actually have to worry about it. But for example, in case where you want to write something and then you immediately want to exit the tool and go somewhere else, you can utilize our manual save button here. And when you click on save, it will right away save for you. So we have a manual save as well as auto save button. When you are done with the content itself, that's where you click on finish. So done, it means finish, right? So this two, why is this two button? Save essentially means that the writing is still in progress. You may pause it in, bit, in the middle, you wanna do something else, you come back to the content piece later. But when you click done, on the project management uh, dashboard, it will appear under the status as finished. Right, so that's the big difference, the two difference between these two buttons. Um, so let's go into the left panel here. These are where for information panel. So third, first of all is the deadline. So this is where you set the deadline in the, uh, uh, when you create an article, um, you'll be able to create the edit deadline and the information will be here. Import content, this is where you import from your um, website content. You just click on, click on this and you just import um, from URL or from your files and just kind of put it in, in, in the content there and you will be able to import directly into this. Uh, note, this is where you um, this is where you access the note that you left in when you start creating the article. This is where you wanna talk to your uh, freelancer. You wanna leave a bunch of notes for your freelancer, click on this and it will appear here. Uh, share, this is where you create the shareable link. User with the link can only edit the content. So you can allow, you set allowance for your writers. Um, for example, you wanna, have your writer focus on originality. You, do you want them to not see competitors' information? 
uh, or you don't want them to see related uh, questions or you don't want them to check for plagiarism. So for example, if you click on all of this, then your freelancer will be able to access all of this. And if they check for plagiarized content, um, your, the, the, the limit will be deducted on your account. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, also over here, we do not allow the, uh, option to have to share the right to use our AI system. Only you as the owner of the account can use the AI system in your own content. Um, um, this was something that we want to develop later when we start having a team function, uh, team function features. Okay, so above here, you will, be, you will see this is the panel, the control panel of the writing itself. It's very self-explanatory, table, cell, row, columns, input your image uploads. Uh, you indent, move indent, um, the pixel change, uh, undo and redo. Um, so very self-explanatory. Another thing we want to highlight is that now you can utilize the on text editor uh, checker. So for example, if you highlight things, it will appear here. This is a quick sort of quick access. So you can bold them, you can italic them. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff from here. Very self-explanatory. Uh, click on link. You can insert the link. So this is where you insert your internal and external linking in here. You can also access our AI shortcut from here. So there will, it will show you a panel. Um, when you highlight certain things, um, our AI will use that highlighted text to be as input. If you don't highlight it and you simply right click, on anywhere of the page, we'll actually show you a panel, but we will use the text, all text above, meaning that from this point all the way to the top of the content, we'll use that as an input uh, for all of these uh, templates for you to uh, quick access. All right, so essentially that is the tutorial bit, right? Um, takes me about, what, 13 minutes to, to walk through, but um, I think I've already covered uh, all the basics and how you can uh, utilize the tool by function. But in terms of tips, tricks, and some of the best uh, way to do that, we will prob I will develop like a series videos where I go more in details of like, okay, this is how you can utilize this template, how you can use this template to build a certain type of content, guideline content, um, comparison content, reviews content. Those are the things that uh, I want to go more in depth in in, in other series of videos. Um, but in these videos, we'll focus on tutorial first. Thank you very much for listening in and I'll want to, I will see you in our next videos. Bye-bye.